Hello and welcome everybody. This is Michael with Nosby. Second video explain how Nosby works and getting things done with Nosby works. Uh, in, first, in the first video we talked about projects and we explained that every project has actions and notes. In this video we'll talk about next actions. Mm, let's go and click on next actions. It's a concept also taken from the great book by David Allen, Getting Things Done. And next actions are the next physical actions we have to do to move a project forward. So for example, to move my project birthday party forward, I have to call people invited. That's my next action I have to do here. But before I will do that, I have to clear my head again. I ha have something on my head and I have to clear it. So um, it's the thing with my car. I need to change tires uh, in my car. But it's also not that easy. Changing tires requires me to do more steps than just changing tires. So let's create a project for that car. And what are the, na the actions here? First action is um, I need to check uh, tire prices on the net. It should take me about 15 minutes or to half an hour to research that. I click on the internet and the action. Later, when, once I'm done with that, I have to call garage for appointment. It should take me like uh, five minutes only and a brief phone call and have the appointment ready. And once I'm done, I have to go and change those tires. It should take me like one hour and it's an errand. As you can see again, I'm using the time tracking and the context um, capability of Nosby's. Uh, as you can see, this project will take me about one and a half hours and in three different uh, contexts. Uh, why is this so important? We'll get to that. Okay, so what's the next action here? I have three actions, what's the next one? And the first one I have to do, I think is the, this one, check tire price on the net. So I click on the star, start right now, so it's my next action. Let's click on next actions. And as you can see, I have two actions. Um, both of them move my two, two projects forward. Call people invited moves one action forward, my project birthday party, and check tire price on net, my project car. In this case, I can reorder again by dragging and dropping. I can reorder heat actions. And let's say I want to start with this, with the car project, and check the, price, the, uh, the tire prices on the net. OK, I'll go ahead and do that. And after I'm done with that, I'll just click here. And it's done. As you can see, it took me 30 minutes. And, but I still have one hour to go because I have to call people invited for the birthday party. So let's say I um, pick up the phone and start calling the people. And once I'm done calling the people, and for example, it took me more because I had to, to talk to more people or it took more time because I had to explain them things. Let's say it took me one and a half hours. And it's done. So I have my projects done, but I'm still on the phone. I have still the phone in, uh, on my head, uh, uh, in my hand. So let's click on the phone icon to go to the phone context. And as you can see, we move to context section and phone. And here you can see I have actions, call people invited, which I have already done, and call garage for an appointment. So. I can actually call the guys right now. It is only five minutes and while I'm on the phone, I'll just do it and I have it done. So I'll just call the garage and it's done. See, context, I have no more tasks to, to accomplish, but there are errands. I click on the errands. I have two tasks here. Here, I go. I need to um, buy a cake and go, to and go to go and change the tires. So if I have an appointment and I can already go and change the tires, I can actually buy a cake on my way there. So as you can see, contexts are very useful because you can join things that you're doing, uh, although they are from different projects. It's a, uh, it, 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 it gives you the possibility to uh, process your tasks and your actions very easily, even if they are not identified by you as your next actions. But this is the way it works. And um, it's also a concept, again, by David Allen from his book. I'm not... Uh, affiliated with David Allen. I'm just inspired by his work and um, I, re I recommend you to read his book and to use Nosby in the same way we try to explain it here. And if you have any questions, just write me an email at questions at nosby.com. 
Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy using Nosby as much as I do on my daily basis. Thanks.